Hey guys, uh, this is Zero here with my end of the year video. Um, this one's going to be a little shorter than usual, though I always say that and look what happens. But uh, I'm going to be trying to make this one shorter than they usually are. So uh, let's not um, delay. By the way, if you hear some yelling going on, that's my brother being an idiot. But that's okay. Um, let's not delay. Let's just start off with the Christmas stuff. So this Christmas was pretty light. Um, which is fine because I didn't ask for anything uh, except for a pair, new pair of boots, which those of you who've been watching my Let's Plays know they got a new pair of boots. I didn't bring them down here with me. They're huge. I have to bring them down the stairs. Not going to do that. Um, I also got, I mostly got clothes and stuff from my folks. I actually got a sweet um, red uh, sweater vest, like an ugly Christmas sweater vest. I'll put up a couple pictures here from my Instagram. Um, I even can do my best Ken Bone impression with it. Um, hashtag humongous bone uh, for all the H3 fans out there. But uh, yeah, um, so yeah, I can cosplay Ken Bone now. <laughs> but anyways, um, uh, let's get on to the real stuff. And again, I'm not, I didn't get a ton of stuff. Didn't ask for a ton of stuff. Um, I've been getting less and less for Christmas, which is fine because I don't really ask for anything. And to be honest, I'm getting older. The older I get, the less I care about getting stuff. It's more about uh, giving. So, and I, I had to actually cut back a lot this Christmas because of uh, financial reasons. Um, I might be moving soon. Um, I have a lot of bills to pay. I have a credit card to pay off. Just normal stuff. And I've had less money this year than I thought I would. But we'll get into that in a moment. Let's start off with. Something that a friend at work gave me. This is not the actual one. This is one I bought, but uh, I have another one of these because a friend at work, uh, his name's Jacob, gave me a Mega Man Vinyl Pop. Um, the one at work is actually at my desk at work. So, um, and this is one I bought uh, a couple months ago that I haven't taken out of the package, obviously. Um, but yeah, he guards my desk at work, so nobody takes my desk. Because if people take my desk, he f shoots plasma power at them. Plasma power! Yeah, whatever. Um, Alright, so there's that. Um, speaking of more figurines, uh, my brother's uh, girlfriend, Megan, gave me this uh, 30th anniversary um, Zelda amiibo. The, uh, the Link one. The NES Link one. Uh, works in uh, Twilight Princess... Smash Brothers and Hyrule Warriors Legends. Um, I actually saw this and all the other 30th Anniversary Zelda ones, but I didn't have the money to pick them up. I did, but I just saved that money for Christmas. So I'm glad that I got one of them. I want to get the other ones now, but uh, this one looks really cool. I don't know how well you can see in the case, but I've been leaving my Amiibos in the box until I review them. So more on that later, by the way. But yeah, this is really cool. I was really glad to get that. Um... I also got gift cards and stuff, but I'm not going to show those off or display those. Uh, this is mostly just stuff for EB, so I'm not too worried about it. <coughs> okay, so, um, something my brother gave me, and this might be a little hard to see, because it's in the case, um, Legend of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse for the Game Gear. I've been trying to build up all my Sega collections. Uh, not so much Genesis. I'm more looking for more uncommon stuff for Genesis right now. But Master System, Game Gear, and uh, Saturn and Dreamcast are the systems I'm collecting for right now. And uh, this is a game that I've been thinking about getting. I think it's the sequel to Castle of Illusion. Um, or uh, just a version for Game Gear. So I'm glad to finally have this. So... Um, it's a cool thing to do. And speaking of Sega games, my brother got me um, Jurassic Park The Lost World. Um, these aren't the official cases. He actually, the guy who sold them didn't have the official cases, but the discs are in good condition. So um, Jurassic Park The Lost World, a game I've been eyeing for a bit uh, for Sega Saturn. Uh, so I got that. Uh, this one, I just kind of wanted for collector's reasons, um, but he also got me, uh, Sonic Jam for Sega Saturn. This is basically just, um, all the Genesis Sonic games on one disc, so, um, I was glad he got that for me. And the piece to resistance, um, I never thought I'd get uh, my hands on a copy of this game. Um, I've wanted to try playing it, I know it's terrible, but... It's just a Sonic game I had to have, and it's Sonic R for the Sega Saturn. 
I have been wanting a copy of this game for a long time, and now I own an official copy. Now I've just got to get another controller so I can make someone suffer with me. Um, but yeah, that's uh, when my brother actually phoned me and asked if I had these games, and asked if he, he goes to uh, Toronto a lot, and there's game stores out there, and he says, do you want me to pick up some games for you? Look, keep an eye out for some games. So... Uh, he actually phoned me and said, hey, I found these three games. Do you want me to buy them for you? I said, sure. So what he said, which is the opposite of what happened here, is he's, he said to me, he's like, oh, unfortunately, it was just the cases. The games weren't in them. And I'm like, oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, well, no loss, no foul. And um, then he surprised me on Christmas Day by giving them to me. So there we go. More Sega Saturn games to play. The other two things are digital, so I'm just going to actually switch to my desktop here for a moment. So, my buddy Shadow Snake gave me River City Super Sports Challenge All-Star Special, um, and my buddy SCXCR gave me Heart and Slash. Haven't played these yet, but I've really been wanting to dig them, dig them, dig into them. So, thanks guys for getting those for me. Um... And, uh, yeah, so, um, now on to Boxing Day stuff. So what did I get, uh, for deals on Boxing Day? So the first thing I want to show off is I got this, uh, new 3DS XL case, um, a PDP Legend of Zelda case. And what's unique about this case is it actually, let me just show you, is it's got a little compartment where it's got a screen upper, uh, cleaner and you put three games in there, which is great for me because a lot of the times I don't keep my games in the case when I'm traveling. I just like to take the games with me. So, um, they look like they only hold 3DS games. You could probably put a DS game in there and it might fit, but haven't tried. And of course, a couple places to put your styluses. So that's a little thing that's in there. It makes my 3DS a little more bulky and it hides the Monster Hunter stuff on it, but I've honestly been needing a case for my three, my new 3DS XL really bad because I have dropped it a few times and I've been concerned that I was going to damage it, but now this is a pretty thick case, so um, I think it'll be okay if I drop it a few times with this. So um, And green's my favorite color. Not, a, not as huge of a fan of Legend of Zelda as some other people I know, but um, this will keep my th new 3DS XL protected. So that's good. Um, so next off, um, I only got a couple of games, uh, excluding digital stuff. Um, I got uh, Final Fantasy Explorers. It was on sale. Um, my, the case in this, my brother actually spotted. I missed these. I missed seeing these. Uh, but this was on for a pretty good deal. I know uh, Canadian Jutsu, aka Winslow 13, my buddy plays this a lot. Um, and he told me about it. It's basically Monster Hunter with Final Fantasy characters. So, um, really cool that I have this now. I'll get to check it out and we'll go from there. Um, and something I got with a gift card, this wasn't really on sale, but I never see this anywhere, is uh, Assault Suit Lanos. Um, this is a remake of a Genesis game, like a side-scroller shooter platformer thing. Um, and, uh, didn't really know too much about this, but I never see this game. So it was only $30, couldn't beat the price, so thought I'd pick it up. Uh, I haven't opened it yet either, so I'm going to have to do that. So so those are the games I got. Now, one thing that I was hunting for... One thing that I was hunting for, I should say, while I'm near the mic, um, I wanted to get... Uh, start collecting the Dragon Ball seasons. I have season one of the blue bricks of Dragon Ball. I have all of the orange bricks of Dragon Ball Z. I know a lot of people are going to say, those are inferior versions, whatever. It comes with the Bruce Falconer music on those. It comes with the, or in this case of the other sets, the TV stereo audio, which is the version I prefer. And um, so I wanted to uh, watch through Dragon Ball because I've watched through Dragon Ball, but it was in bits and pieces. Dragon Ball is actually one of the first animes I saw. And not I'm not talking about Dragon Ball Z, I mean Dragon Ball, because I remember on Saturday mornings, I don't know how as a kid I had the ability to do this, but I get up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., because I wanted to watch Raccoons, and Dragon Ball was on right before it. Now, the thing about that is, because I had to be quiet so nobody heard me while I was and wake everybody up, is I had to watch Dragon Ball and Raccoons with very low audio, mostly Dragon Ball because it was on earlier. So I didn't get much of the story. The same re way I watched Gundam Wing, saw it in bits and pieces, had to keep the volume down because my brother was gone to bed at that time because he's two years younger than me, so we had to go to bed earlier than I did, so I couldn't have the TV super loud. So 
one day I will also want to watch through Gundam Wing properly too. Um, but the Dragon Ball sets weren't on sale. I mean, thirty dollars for a, a season of Dragon Ball isn't terrible. It's not really that good either because I got each season of Dragon Ball Z for twenty bucks each. Um, but what was on sale is I picked up finally the complete series of Dragon Ball GT. Now I know what some people are going to say: GT is not very good. Um, it's not canon, blah, blah, blah. First off, um, Toriyama has come out and said that he doesn't consider Dragon Ball GT not, GT not canon. He more as a side story or a, um, an alternate, uh, timeline. Um, though with Super still coming out, we still don't know how GT fits into all this. Maybe Super will lead into GT. Maybe Toriyama will find a way to lead it in. Though some stuff has been retconned uh, that ends up in GT, so we'll have to see. Um, the whole Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue thing mixed with Super Saiyan 4, we don't really know how that's going to work. But um, I still think... I've started watching this. I'm 15 episodes in, so I'm f I finished the Black Soldier... Black Star Dragon Ball arc. Wow, I can talk. Um, and I liked it more than I thought I would. I have problems, but they're problems from being a fan of the franchise for a long time. So I'm finally going to give GT a full go. I'm, I think, a third, almost a third into it. So I, it's too late for me to stop now. Um, I caught this on TV uh, on and off, seeing the Blue Water or Ocean dub. I wasn't a huge fan of it at the time because I wanted more of what Dragon Ball Z gave me, and from what I understand, I'm getting to where it's more Z-esque, because the first arc is more like Dragon Ball, you know, collecting the Dragon Balls, so I'm looking forward to going through this. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's not the best series I've ever seen, but it's I mean, it's pretty good. It's it's keeping my attention. It's wanting me to watch more. Um, also, just wanting to get to the arcs like Baby and Super 17 and... Um, what's the last one? And uh, I can't think of it right now. Oh, and the, uh, the Evil Dragons arcs. Like, I just want to see, because those are the more Dragon Ball Z battle-esque seasons. So I'm just trying to get through to that. The movie's also included on this, too. So um very happy to have this, and uh, I'm going to be giving it uh, the old college try. So, yeah. So, other things I got for Christmas were, like like I said, gift cards, candy, um, clothing. I'm not going to put that here. There's just simply too much of it. Um, not too much of it, but... It's all, some of that stuff's already hung up. I've already tried on. It's going to pant, I have a pair of pants that has to get hemmed. Too much of a pain in the ass to bring all that stuff down here. So, let me get into the next part of this video, which is the um, the New Year's resolutions and updates. So, let's start off with 2016. So, 2016 has been a rough year for a lot of people. And for me particularly, it's been a year of healing. It's been a year of discovery. Um, and a year of um, focusing on me. Um, as many of you know, who've been watching my Let's Play channel, I've been spending a lot of time with my friend Casey, or I should say my new best friend Casey. Um, we have spent a lot of time this year together hanging out, and now also, so for the first half of the year, her and I spent a lot of time hanging out. She was new to my channel, we wanted to get some stuff recorded to promote her channel, um, so I spent a lot of time on that relationship, because I didn't really know her that well when we started hanging out. So I took this time to really get to know her um, and for her to get to know me. And uh, we've become really good friends because of it, really close friends. Um, as well as in the second half of the year, um, her wife came and moved to Canada, uh, Allie, and her and I are really close friends now too. So um been focusing on those relationships, on close relationships with friends, which has been good for me. Um, and good for a lot of things. It made me found out a few things. Made me found out, you know, <clears throat> one of the unfortunate things that I, that I actually do have a mild form of anxiety. Um, and that's why I sometimes have problems with certain things. Um, but, uh, it's all good. It was all good. And, um, but I realized that I was really neglecting other people that I had been in my life up to this point. And I want to try to rectify that in the new year. So, um, 
probably I'm probably still going to be hanging out with Casey and Allie a ton, but I want to also focus on my other friends. So I'm going to try and b- build those relationship up ships up again too because i've been kind of neglectful with that being said i've also been neglectful of my uh my videos um i did three reviews in the last quarter of this year um they just barely got done um because i just didn't have as much time to work on them um i did rush a review earlier this year uh i think it was my battlefront review I'm not 100% happy with that one, so I want to make sure with the last three that I did this year, the one for uh, Halloween, the one for Veterans Day, and the one for Christmas, that I spent a lot of time and polished them. And I'm really happy with those videos, and I hope you guys like those reviews. However, in general, all my reviews have been kind of put to the wayside, whether it be vlog reviews, which are super simple for me to do. It's basically this format, me in front of a camera. Um, My game reviews, which are the most produced videos I have. Um, so those need to amp up, uh, my Henshin time and amiibo time videos, the toy review videos, which don't take as much time to work on, but it's finding the time to do like voiceover and stuff like that. So I wanted to sort of get back into working on those videos. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So another one of my resolutions is I want to try to have the and this is something that I would normally strive for anyways, but have a fully produced video, um, whether that be a game review, toy review, um, a parody, whatever. I want to have at least one fully produced video done a month. Um, and, uh, with some exceptions, of course, if I get sick, I can't really do anything about that and whatnot. But, uh, and I live and with my line of work, uh, Sometimes where I work is kind of a cesspool of sickness, so it's really easy to get sick. I actually got sick a couple weeks ago, and then, of course, everyone else in my household got sick. Um, But I want to try to do at least one fully produced video a month. I already have ideas for something I want to do. I have some new series I'd like to do in the new year. That's going to be another part of my resolutions, new series. Um, But, uh, yeah, Um, those are my ideas for next year. Um, I want to keep going on with my Let's Play channel, at least one to two videos a day. Uh, it seems to be going. And I finally want to get that set up as for partnership. I've applied for partnership with a MCN. I'm not going to say who they are right now, um, but I applied for them. And I, I just have to get some tax forms filled out, and I can start making money off my channel, um, which will be good because I can use that money to not only alleviate some of the bills I have, but also be able to pay for equipment. Cause that's our biggest concern right now. I realized recently that, um, if my capture card dies tomorrow, I don't have the funds to replace it. Um, and that's a scary thought because my channel, it could, one of my channels could just be shut down if that happens. Um, not completely shut down. Like I still have my old capture cards, but just, a lot easier to be shut down, a lot harder to get the work done. So I need some way of alleviating that. And I may be looking at other methods soon. Some of you guys might have noticed uh, in the descriptions of my video, I've added uh, a tip jar link to PayPal. Um, I've added that only just to put, um, cause people do ask me where they can donate things. Um, I am not telling anyone to click that button. I am not forcing anybody. I'm not going to guilt anybody into clicking that button. I'm just telling you it's there now. So anybody who's been asking about it, it's going to be in the description of every video I post uh, from here on. So um, for those of you who wanted to, um, thank you for the thought. Again, there is no pressure from me. I am not trying to ask people for money. I never want to ask people for money. Um, but it is now something that I have there. I've even considered making a Patreon account, which I know a lot of YouTubers have done. Um, but I want to make sure I have everything ready to go before I lay that out. I want to make sure I have real rewards that I can get, give out. Cause I've seen a few, uh, Patreons and I've seen what they offer and some of them are kind of eh with what they offer. So I want to make sure that what I offer is something that people actually want. So, um, I mean, if you have ideas, leave me a comment down below. Um, but it's not going to be for a while. I don't think I still got to figure things out for that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I guess that's also video updates there on what's going on with my series. Um, 
I, I guess I will end this off short. It's, it's only been 20 minutes so far. Um, I guess I'll end this off by saying thank you all so much uh, for watching my videos this year. Uh, for those of you who are fans of my parody and review stuff, I'm really sorry for the lack of content. I'm going to try to get back on the horse with that. It's been a busy year <laughs> uh, for me. And um, I'm hoping 2017 is going to be less busy, but also just as exciting. Um for people who've been watching my Let's Play videos, thank you very much. My channel has grown quite a bit in the last little while. We passed 2,000 videos on that channel just recently. Um, and uh, thank you very much for that. And before I end off, I do have an idea for a contest uh, for my Let's Play channel. Um, so for those of you watching, I want to do like a um, top five or top ten moments power plays moments of 2016. So this includes power plays, terror time, power battles, penalty box, four plays, guest plays, any of those shows that have to do with the power plays spectrum. Um, so leave a comment down below on what your, uh, what you'd like to vote on. Um, if you're subscribed to my let's play channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and you leave a comment down below on one of the videos. Those are all ballots. Um, and what we're going to do is the bouts, uh, I'm going to draw a prize, um, when the video is complete, when I make the video and I'll probably announce the winner during that video, um, of a gift card of some kind. I haven't decided if I want to do a steam wallet or Amazon gift card, or maybe I'll leave it up to the winner. Um, there are limits, like uh, certain things I won't be able to purchase in my country. I live in Canada, so just keep that in mind. But, um, those are my ideas for that. Um, so just to wrap things up again, thanks again for watching this year. I hope you guys will enjoy my content next year in 2017. I will see you in the new year and have a happy new year. And um, we'll keep on keeping on. See you later.